Undivided, a show that uses common sense and doesn't care about your feelings, with your host, Van Daniel. What's up, everybody? If I can find the truth, you can find the truth, and I'm here to give it to you. But, hey, listen, this one, I make a lot of people mad. So go ahead and make sure you watch this until the end, because you might be surprised on where this goes. Now, I wanted to wait until most of the facts came out before I spoke on this Ahmed Aubrey case. Because when the first news broke, I thought to myself, man, something just ain't right. right? And then, sure enough, right on cue, the facts rolled in and the news was wrong again. Imagine that, right? Inflammatory. But the damage was done with the narrative. You got two racist rednecks hunting down a poor black kid. It's just jogging down the street, minding his own business. First of all, I want to go ahead and say that this is a tragedy. Straight up. No matter how you look at it, a young man lost his life. And it all could have been avoided. I don't believe this was a racist event. I'll even ask you this. And let me know what you think in the comments if this if this were three black men in this situation. Do you think this would even hit the national news? I'm going to guess not. So just wake up, America. Now, I'm not saying racism doesn't, ex racism doesn't exist because it does by whites and blacks. As we've seen in the black girl video, the multicultural center gives very racist speech and gets applauded for it uh, just the other day. It's going viral right now. But I'm here to tell you, though, that in my opinion, nobody was right in this entire situation. All right? Not the Aubreys, not the McManuses, I think it is. Not nobody. All right? Listen here are the facts. Aubrey wasn't out for a jog. He was trespassing on a house, and although that house was being renovated. Nobody currently lived there. It's still trespassing. There's no. That's the facts. You can't avoid that. Now, does that warrant him losing his life? Hell no. It does not. But he wasn't the only one that was wrong in this, in my opinion. Not Georgia law, in my opinion. The, these McManus dudes, in my opinion, were wrong too. Now, before y'all jump all over me about Georgia state law, so... You just calm down. This is my opinion. This is my opinion only. They go and try to do a citizen's arrest. Let me repeat that. They go and try to do a citizen's arrest. Now I'm going to go ahead and be honest with you. Before this case, I, I, heard, I didn't even know that was a real thing. Like, I've joked about it. I've had friends joke about it. Like, But to go out vigilante style, watch a crime go on, grab my shotguns, and go try to stop somebody, retired cop or not anybody, just baffles me. Why? Why? Are you that bored with life? Call the cops, which you did. Let them do their jobs. You are a former police officer. I don't understand why this dude didn't just stay at home, let the cops do what they do, right? Especially if the dude was just trespassing. It's not like he murdered his neighbor or did anything crazy. Like he went into a house that was being renovated and left. They, and then they get in their trucks and they chase this dude down. Now, I don't think... Aubrey seen it that way. I don't know that I would have either, that it was a citizen's arrest. This is what he's seen. He did something wrong. He was getting caught. So he starts running, right? Now, instead of faced with just somebody trying to stop him, he's faced with two dudes that don't look like him, right? With shotguns. Now, I'm going to go ahead and say that fight or flight takes over at this point. And if two dudes that don't look like me were chasing me down with guns, what did you think was going to happen? 
he was probably scared out of his mind. He's got two people. A, he's doing something wrong. B, he's scared. C, you got dudes with guns. I'm going to tell you what was going on in his mind. He was freaked out. And fear took over. And we have fight or flight response. Those are the two responses, fight or flight. His was fight. Unfortunately, it cost him his life over some trespassing. I'm, I'm so angry at this situation because it could, could have absolutely been different on all levels. Aubrey, obviously, he could have not gone into that house. I don't know what he was doing. And nobody will know, right? Dead men tell no tales. So we have no idea what this dude was doing in there. We don't know anything about his intent. Maybe he's just curious, right? Have you ever been curious? I know I have. Especially as a young man. Like, yeah, what's going on over there? Boom, construction site. Let me go see what's going on. Oh, look at this, blah, blah, I don't know. Maybe I'm just a nerd. Maybe that's just something I did, but it happens. The kid didn't steal nothing. So trespassing is his crime? You're going to chase this dude down with shotguns? I mean, I, I'm, I'm baffled. And it being a former cop on top of that, obviously this dude is bored. Now, the court of law will go ahead and take care of all that. I don't know. Now, as far as the cops taking as long as, um, as they did, I'm absolutely sure that the court of public opinion will go ahead and influence that to make an arrest and all these things. But mark my words, if you look at Georgia law, Georgia state law, you may upset with the outcome. You may be upset with the outcome of this trial because as I read it, they were within their legal right to shoot him as the law is written. And, and calm down, calm down. Let me explain why within the law. Not in my opinion. I think they're wrong. Within the law. So the law states that you can do a citizen's arrest with guns. And it's open carry, so technically they weren't breaking any laws being out there with their shotguns chasing this dude down. That's perfectly legal. They didn't break any laws there. Doing the citizen arrest, they absolutely didn't break any laws there. They were within their right. Now, when regardless of how I feel or you feel or anybody feels about this, when Aubrey attacked them to try to take that shotgun, as the, again, as the law is written, they were legally had the right to defend themselves. It's just tragic. All this over trespassing. I'm sure the, the McManuses or whatever their name is are sitting in jail right now thinking the exact same thing. Man, we could have just left this thing alone. And we wouldn't be here. And a kid would still have his life. And I agree. White, black, Asian, I don't care what color this kid was. This is a tragedy. A, kid, a young man lost his life over trespassing. It's insane to me. We are, I'm sure, you know what? It's one of those things that you just can't fathom happening and then it does happen and you question everything. How does this happen? Why does this happen? It's absolutely disturbing to me. We're gonna go, they're gonna go to court. They're gonna see their day in court. And like I said, mark my words, I don't think you're gonna like the outcome. I don't think I'm gonna like the outcome, but the outcome is probably going to be either manslaughter or just dismissed. Because like I said, as I read the law, and I'm not a lawyer, don't get me wrong, I am educated, but I'm not a lawyer. I'm not educated in law, but I can read. The law states, as I read it, that they are probably going to be let off. Now, hopefully they get in front of a jury and a jury sees it their way, I, I don't know. It's an absolute tra tragedy either way. And you can hit me up in the comments and tell me I'm, I'm, you know, whatever. I don't care. But it is what it is. 
I like I said, I'm probably gonna I probably made a whole lot of people mad. But come at me, bro. Alright. Last thing I'm gonna say on this whole thing is just because it's accidental doesn't mean it's justified. Think before you act. We gotta stop this. It's getting out of hand. I had a video earlier about how police interact with the community and now we have community members interacting with community members like this and it's absolutely it's wrong um hope my child never has to deal with that hope i have to never have to deal with that over a very harmless incident in my opinion um but it is what it is that's all i got to say today hope you enjoyed the uh hope you enjoyed the show hope you enjoyed the new digs if you will uh move the space change the logo change the name undivided so hit the subscribe button like comment let me know what you think all right i'll see you next week i'm out